G'day, fellas. If you're watching this on YouTube, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we are trying out... This is the first time we're actually trying out the Abbasid Dynasty. Uh, we've got a little bit of a build order prepared here. So we've gone in, we've broke them down. We've taken a look at what their strengths, their weaknesses are. I actually need to get this guy back here. He needs to pick that up. So first and foremost, we're going to be dropping our house down with our first villager. Then heading down out over to the berries. Looks like we've got some pretty good berry spawns over here. So everything is looking Gucci. This is actually a pretty bad um, lumber camp for me. I probably should have gone over here. That would have been the best spot for it. But that's okay. That's all right. You win some, you lose some. All right. So three villagers now out into... Uh, onto my sheep. I'm going to put that in the control group with our, our uh, town center so it stops making that awful ding, ding, ding noise that I'm sure you guys have learned to love to hate. But uh, So we start off doing the 2 2, two which is two vills out to gold, two vills to wood, two vills to food. Uh, and we're going out for a mill. Th with this mill, we're going to be looking to secure our wheelbarrow upgrade as soon as we can. You can see that we just dropped off 40 wood there. So we're going to be looking to potentially uh, get our wheelbarrow in very soon. We'll take a look and see how we're doing. Actually, we might do a force drop off here. We'll do a force drop off here. That should hopefully give us enough. There's our wheelbarrow in perfectly uh, force dropped off there. So our wheelbarrow is coming in extra quick. That's a nice little early economic upgrade for us. Uh, and so we want to keep three villages um, in here. And then we want to keep five villages out here on food. Um, actually, you know what? It, it probably doesn't even matter because we're going to be transitioning depending on what we scout our opponent doing. So in this matchup, we're playing against the British. We're playing against Kim Hal. Uh, so I don't know who Kim is. I don't know if they remember on, on Twitch or if they if they know who we are. But we, we started a game called Potatoes Game. So we're, we're kind of a little bit undercover, but we're not really. Uh, and uh, yeah, what? so essentially what we're doing is just looking to try and secure an early age up or at least as early as you can really get with the Abbasid while focusing on your economy. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop down the House of Wisdom now. We'll get it in a nice spot right here. Pretty decent spot. We're going to cover everything. I'm just using our wood villages for that. And once you've got eight villages on food, now you want to begin sending your, um, your villages out to gold. They're going to transition out there. So the the Abbasid are an incredibly complex civilization. It says that they're only two stars for difficulty. That's not true. They are like seven stars for difficulty. There are so many things that you need to think about when you're looking at your House of Wisdom and, you know, the potential matchup that you're going up against. So I'm playing on Arabia right now and going for a trade wing is probably a decent idea here because typically my market is going to be spawning up here in the corner. So it's, it's very easy for me, or that, rather the trade post is going to be spawning up here in the corner. So it's very easy for me to put a market down here and trade with it. But um, I, I'm, I'm sort of just going for a bit more of a standard build order here. Uh, this is a very safe builder. It's always going to get you up at a relatively competitive time, normally about 5.30 because the, the uh, age ups are, um, are predetermined. They're, they're two minutes time that it takes. So we're going to be looking to age up here with the economic wing, depending on what we scout. So we're scouting out our opponent right now. Uh, and so this is where the timing is going to come in. And depending on what our opponent does will depend on what we go up with. So we really need to uh, to rush into this position and hopefully find them uh, and, and see what they're up to. Uh, as you can see, I can't spot any early wonder out just yet. So I'm going to be going up with the economic wing. Uh, and we're going to be looking to play a pretty aggressive. So we're going to take all these guys off. We're going to bring them over. And we're going to be doing a 2TC boom. Uh, and so the idea is that we're going to be taking full advantage of fresh foodstuffs, the technology. Now, hopefully he hasn't gone and done a little bit of a forward uh, wonder that sometimes you do see players doing uh, on maps like this. Uh, we've got another villager out here. So let's make sure that we, uh, we get him over to an appropriate spot. These villagers at the moment, they're going to go from food over to wood. But uh, it doesn't look like there's any forward that we've spotted. And we haven't spotted him doing any forward uh, landmark just yet. So I think we're in a pretty decent spot to get a nice bit of a boom off here. Now, one of the things I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to research this tech. So I might actually just send one villager, that villager that just came out. I'm going to keep him over here. He's going to have 125 wood uh, in the bank for us. Or at least he's, he's going to go chop that 100, uh, sorry, 125 gold for us. Uh, so only need another 24, so not too bad. And keep in mind, he's got wheelbarrow as well. So two two trips and he'll be okay. Uh, we got to worry about that right now. Quickly, quickly. Uh, so population capacity is reached. You can see it going up here on the TC. Keep in mind that with your villagers, okay, they are still going to be training even if you're at max pop. And then the moment that this house finishes, they're going to pop out. So you watch. I'm only going to be popped for a couple seconds here. It's Now I'm popped. Now I'm technically popped. Bam. Within like a second, it was out. It was ready to fight. So a nice little uh, nice little thing there. Let's bring that guy in. Let's see. What are, we, what are we at? We need three more gold here. So chop that one out for us. One, two, 
three gold right there. And now you can head over. Actually, we can bring these guys in as well. So they've got 300. We need 300 stone. So now let's think about our next TC placement, where we're going to be placing down our TC. Ideally, we want to be looking for berries and a secondary source of something. So let's go. I think this is a pretty decent spot down here to the south. And these guys have actually been idled. So what we're going to be looking for is uh, is that town center down there. You can see that we're about to hit that age up now. So I'm going to send four villagers down to this position. We're going to place a town center right here, I think. And uh, you can see that our opponent's still yet to age up. So we're in a good spot. We're going to begin getting our fresh foodstuffs now. So reducing the cost of villagers. So I'm going to have one more villager in queue. Uh, and these guys are about to drop this one down. I think I've, I've probably sent them out a little bit preemptively. Uh, let's... Oh my god, that, that's, they're, they're chopping wood so far away. Chop from this tree, guys. Uh, and now we're going to drop down that second town center. So there's our second town center already going down. We're going to get these guys from here. They're going to go straight onto wood. Now at the moment, my opponent is, is showing no signs of being aggressive. He's still in age one. Uh, so it enables me to be a little bit more liberal with my economy, with the way that I'm playing. So I'm going to be looking at transitioning into an archer-based um, an archer-based army. So we're going to be thinking about that. So now with this villager right here, we'll be dropping down our archery range. Make sure we send him back out. And uh, we'll drop down a, another lumber camp, just extra close. So our villagers are, are doing a little bit better job of of uh, keeping keeping close. So we're about to get this technology. You can see our cost of villagers are about to be reduced. So down to 25 now. So now we are all set to go. We're set to boom like crazy. And then from here, so... We can actually go from here and we can uh, we can drop a mill. I think we'll drop a mill about here is, is a decent spot because that's actually going to buff up our berries. It's going to give them an, a, a plus uh, 250 bonus that we wouldn't otherwise get. So as you can see, these berries up here, they're 500 out of 250. 500 out of 250, if you click on these ones, you can't actually click on them. We can we can take our uh, our scout over to them, but they, they say right here, 250 out of 250. So it's, it's a nice way to get that extra little buff. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop down a second archery range now. So we're going for double archers. Uh, we're also going to be getting out our camel archer nice and early. And you can just see how many villagers we've got in queue right now. So because of this bonus, we're really able to use that bonus and really get an effective boom off at this point. Uh, so it, it's definitely a nice opening. I'm trying to stay safe. You know, even though we know our opponent's still age one, keep in mind he's playing the English. So you never know. He could be massing up men at arms and, and I'm just sitting here waiting, you know, booming with double TCs and having a great little time. And all of a sudden he comes in and rapes and pillages all my, my people. And I, I, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm not going to allow that to happen. So we are going to have to be slightly careful. We do have a little bit of a hunt up here to the north, but keep in mind as the Abbasid dynasty, you're not going to be bothering really to research survival techniques because if you do find boars out on the map you're not going to be able to kill them uh, it is one of these civilizations bonuses there's another boar right there two boars out on the map normally uh, and so as a consequence of i don't know exactly maybe it's their beliefs maybe it's just some way that the game plays uh, you aren't able to do that so now we're going to drop down some houses looks like we might get population blocked a little bit here but we'll try our best you can see that our macro is actually pretty terrible at the moment our opponents now reach the feudal age so we might switch over a few villages over onto wood we, we might actually just send these guys back up over here. Uh, so now that our opponent's gone up to the next age, we're, we're going to go do a little bit of scouting. Golden t Age Tier 1 activated. That is a good thing to know. I'm glad that it told us. Otherwise, we wouldn't have talked about it. So Tier 1, Golden Age. Villager gathering rate plus 10% for all resources. So we are looking good. We are looking great. In fact, we got a lot of resources right here. we got a lot of villagers on wood. I'm feeling pretty decent about this. I think we might begin transitioning maybe into a... Uh, I don't know. Do we do we just do you guys just want to go? Do we go full archers right here just for the memes? I mean, I'd, I'd be like, it's kind of rude to my enemy, but at the same time, like, why not? Hey, like, we're, we're doing pretty decent. Thirty-seven military, or thirty-seven economy though. Like everything, everything's looking good. I I think we're just we're dropping down like more archery ranges. We're just we're going full ham right now. I'm going full archers. This is going to be absolute insanity. Uh, we can see he's got a couple scouts out over here. Two scouts over on the uh, the front. Uh, he did actually go down with the council hall, but a little bit of a curious position here. I guess he's got some villagers over on berries here, so it was pretty easy for him to grab that. We can actually see there's his mill there. It looks like he's dropping down a market as well, so going to be looking to do some market trading. His market should be spawning over here, but uh, I suspect he might be one of the newer players um, of the game, just from the way that he's playing, at least initially. Uh, we're going to get some of these villagers down here to begin. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to connect these. Uh, there we go. We can connect them now. And so this is going to enable everybody to connect up to the House of Wisdom, and then we can potentially look at getting Tier 2, which is the true overpowered stuff. 
Uh, let's have a look. Looks like we don't have all of our waypoints set up. So now we'll set them up. And so the reason why I've got one camel in here, I'm going to be trying my best to keep the camel alive as well, is because the camel's got an aura. So it's a debuff aura. 20% less damage dealt by any cavalry that are in the vicinity of that bad boy. So what I can do is just by keeping that guy alive, it's going to enable me uh, to, to really just prevent any damage coming in from archers. Uh, sorry, from uh, from cavalry. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna take him out of the control group. I think that's the best idea. And then that way, I don't have to worry about him too much. You can see that at the moment our economy is very decent. The fact that we only have to spend 25 food on our villagers is incredible. It's it's a really really nice, uh, a really really nice bonus here, and we're trying to maximize our ability uh, with that. So we're gonna begin pushing on him. Uh, so we'll send our forward point maybe down over here. Uh, and we'll bring our camel down as well. Keep in mind the camel moves a little bit faster, so we might actually throw them all in the same group. Um, and uh, let's let's take a look. We might add some more houses over here. I think we might just try and go for this this uh, this next bonus. So the next bonus is uh, at 30 structures. We're at 18 at the moment, so I think we can probably work a little bit towards that just with some houses like that. And uh, I'm curious to see how effective that's going to be. Uh, so that next bonus is going to give us. 15% research speeds and 15% for all resources. One of the things that I haven't done yet is I haven't actually got my upgrades. Uh, and so that's probably something that I should be focusing on. I'm going to drop down a blacksmith. Actually, there, there's our enemy. I say enemy, but that's, it's just a wolf, it seems. There's our enemy right there. So we're in a decent spot. Looks like he's doing a little bit of Miss Micro right there. We've got our cavalry archer out, but uh, we're going to continue rallying troops down. Some scouts uh, actually picking up our archers back here. All right, just making sure that we micro our trip so that they take less damage. There we go, looking absolutely fine. All right, and then so we've now got this next blacksmith that's down. We're going to drop down a second blacksmith over here. Let's actually drop it a little bit closer so that we get... Ooh, are we going to be... I don't think we can get both of these guys in. We might just have to, like, drop down a house or something like that. Got a longbow back here. But uh, now we're looking in a pretty decent spot. We're going to go out and snag this next... Uh, this next, uh, what do you call it? The next berry bush. Uh, we're also going to drop down a tower out here as well, just in case. Last thing you want is for villagers to be left unguarded out there. And you might be thinking, well, hold on a minute. There's so many villagers going out there and you can only fit five in the tower. Well, that tower is going to provide protection for all those villagers. Because as long as you put five villagers in that tower, then it's going to be able to do all the shooting that it needs to. All right, and there we go. So now we're getting our upgrades. Now, keep in mind, we did go for the economic wing here. We haven't gone for... Uh, you know, any anything um, related to tech. Obviously, there is also the culture wing that you can get access to, reducing the cost of all your technology, so we don't have access to that, or at least we haven't unlocked that one yet. Um, now, one of the things with the Abbasid that I love, you can train battering rams without researching, or you can rather build battering rams without even researching the siege tech, which enables you very easily to transition into, uh, into battering rams or into siege, and that's what we're going to do right now. You can see we're having a difficult time dealing with our opponent's buildings. So now I'm going to try my best just to just to make sure. Let's have a look and see if we've got any idols. There's some more idols. Any more idols? Oh, there's an idol. Let's go take those back and eat them up. There's a villager just hanging out right there. Uh, we might send these guys over here because this is all empty. Look at that. We haven't even started using that. So let's do that. We'll throw one of those down. I think we can probably get some upgrades in as well. And check our mill. Do we get our mining upgrade? There we go. We're looking pretty darn decent at this point. And uh, with all of our extra wood, we're going to continue making battering rams. We'll make them towards the opponent's base like that. And eventually, we could throw an age up in if we wanted to. Hey, Lazy. Let me show you how to keep the dice. Oh, when damn, Mr. That Tarantino. There, hey, 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 hey. Let's go. <gasps> oh, big Tarantino. Thank you for coming in, mate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Gifting the five tier, su tier one subs. Thank you, guys. Welcome. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Anybody in the chat at the moment pick one of those up? I don't think so. I don't recognize any of those names that are active at the moment. But uh, you can see we're now beginning to... There we go. Enemy has dropped from the game. I think the build order looks pretty strong. End of the game, 64 economy. That is a... That is a pretty decent effort, I would say. That is a pretty darn decent effort. I like that build order a lot. Obviously, in the early game, you know... Um, if, if we take a look at the timeline, okay, very clearly you're going to be able to see the village account really beginning to burgeon out as we hit into H2, get that second TC rolling. It feels incredibly strong though. I suspect against any players that are playing a little bit more defensive, 
this is going to be the go-to build. If you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Most importantly, make sure you leave a like if you have. If you're not following the, the uh, channel already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.